Huh? Are you kidding me? What's up, gang? It's Ken Zerk. Ken Zerk. Ken Zerk. Ken Zerk. Ken Zerk. And we are back on Dong and Rampa Goodbye Despair. Uh, I never really stopped. I never stopped recording. You know, this is li literally the same recording. I just kind of figured, like, if I'm editing, I'm going to cut it right here. And I'm going to start it back right here for the next episode. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of preparing for that. Hey, what the heck is that mountain? When did that get here? Never mind that. How did they even make a mountain in shape like Monokuma? That story. That story might be true after all. There might be an enormous organization involved in all this. You mean what Byakuya said before, right? You are right. Byakuya, we still needed his knowledge. I can't believe he's dead. What happened to Gundam and Fuyuhiko? Now that you mention it, it appears they aren't here yet. Oh, uh, I know, they probably ran away! No way! Oh, hell no! Ain't no way I'd let them escape, you know? Look, I dragged this one back over there! Over Stop here! With me. I'm telling you, let me go! Hey! Hey now, if you keep acting violent, I might just eat you up! Hey! Hey, Fuyuhiko, what were you, what were you doing this whole time? Huh? Nothing, I wasn't really doing anything. I was just chilling in my room when I heard, when I suddenly heard that fat bastard got killed. Who cares about that anyway? You. you. How can you say something so irresponsible? Do you understand? We've been doing our best to investigate this murder, even though we won't want to, just to survive. Wait. Mayuru, that's enough. You too, Fuyuhiko. <laughs> Idiot. Um. And I guess we're waiting for Gundam? What happened? I'm right here. Now then, Remember this prepare. well. A main character arrives when he intends to. Huh? It seems you noticed it too. <laughs> if I did, then I'm right. Well now. Oh! He got his earring, meaning he was able to get under the he was able to get under there. Alright, now that everyone's here, all the, all together, let's take the secret entrance to the tri trial field. Wait. Please, wait a second! What's this? My, my, Monami! Just what are you doing here? Nobody asked for you! Huh? Do you actually want to join in? You masochistic mascot! Do you want to taste how powerless you are at the class trial? You're an even bigger masochist than I thought! Special pleading service! Oh well! I'm a big brother who dotes on his little sister. I shall allow your special participation. See ya later! I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys, so hurry over! Huh? You told us to, you, you told us to come, but how do we get there? I don't see any doors or vehicles. What's going on? He mentioned something about a secret entrance, was it? Secret entrance. What the? Something's shaking. Ooh. This is dangerous. Everyone, please get down. <laughs> Something came out. Could it be? Is he telling us to enter it? What? Such a suspicious aura. Even a Crimson Steel Elephant Maga Z is trembling with fear. Oh. Ooh, that's totally suspicious. Hey, 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 hey! Forgive me, seriously, just forgive me already. Uh. <laughs> hey, why don't we stop here? I mean, none of this is real anyway. Like, not even remotely. Wait, no way, no way! There's no way we'll find the killer. Stupid! Complaining won't get us anywhere. If you're really here to if you're really just here to complain and man up for God's sake. You've come this far. We have no choice but to keep moving forward. You're right, there's nowhere for us to run. We need to do it. Mm. If that's everyone's decisions, I'll just follow you guys. Yep. If this were a video game, it'd be a it'd have a very high difficulty level. Let's do our best to clear the game. Shaking with fear and nervousness, I hesitantly lifted my feet and stepped into the escalator. I won't think anymore. If I think it'll, I'll run away. All I could do is stare upward intensely at the, as the escalator carried me. And each of us, when each of us reached Monokuma Rock. Huh? This is an elevator. 
I see! The entire rock is an elevator! <sighs> Once again, Monokuma is doing what he pleases. However... However, if he's gone this far and made something like this, I don't think he's playing around. Even so, we're going pretty deep. You're right. I heard an unnerving chattering sound inside my head. I soon realized it was the sound of my teeth. All I could do was purse my lips tightly so everyone else couldn't hear it. Alright, can, can we get a move on? There we were, listening to unpleasant roars as the elevator plunged deeper and deeper into the earth. Some time passed before the elevator finally finished descending. And then the elevator door slowly opened. Welcome! This is the class trial field! How do you like it? It's a special place that will decide your fates. Why you? What the hell is he thinking? Locking us in a, in a crappy looking place like this. Look, I'm not one to lie, bro. This is hard. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> Complain all you like. I'm used to it by now. Yeah. Come on, you're wasting your time and energy. Hurry up and take your seats where your names are written. <laughs> Why does bro got an iPad? <laughs> Looks like everyone knows. Even if we try to resist, it won't change a thing. It's like Monokuma order. We walk towards the seat we have been assigned. From this point on, we need to fi find out who killed Byakuya. The ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Togami. He was overly critical, arrogant and condescending. But he also had a strong sense of responsibility. As we were panicking, he accepted his role as leader and tried his very best to keep us together. A guy like him got murdered. B we really needed Byakuya, bro. I, I just can't. I can't envision anything. I can't envision us doing anything without Byakuya. I'm sorry. The person who did it is one of us. I can't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. If this really true, we need to find out by any means possible because that's our only option. There's no way for us to survive unless we sacrifice the killer. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. All right. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. I'm sorry, that's During funny. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. Okay. If you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. S such a cruel rule. Before we begin, I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? Most definitely! There's no doubt that the Blackened is lurking among you! Such a sad state of affairs, isn't it? By the way, this class trial is gonna be 100% fair, so there's no need to worry! I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice. Well, not as much as I hate Monami, of course! You hate me that much? Let's begin! Y you're telling us to begin, but what are we supposed to do? No complaining, let's just settle this with our fists. Were you even listening to the rules? I don't, I don't think that, I don't think that's gonna Didn't work. Didn't that Byakuya bastard get killed in the dining hall, huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. Yeah, yeah, what you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? Basically, yeah. No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has nothing to do with me. That that sounds like that's just suspicious though. Huh? What does that mean? Anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? Huh. The most pressing issue on our minds? Where we found the body. It's very strange to find a body underneath the table. Then let's start with that mystery. The reason why Byakuya's body was discovered underneath the dining hall table. We can start with that, but ultimately we need to find out who murdered him. If we can't do that, 
you know, thinking about if it's a waste of time. We have to do this no matter what. Press the escape key, you can review the controls. Yeah, I already know that. Why was Byakuya's body in a place like that? His body was underneath the table at the very back of the dining hall. After the killer murdered Byakuya, okay. they probably moved the body there. Nah. Huh? Why? Obviously by hiding, they tried to delay it like a dog burying a bone. I, I, I shouldn't have skipped that. I, I kind of... Yeah, it clearly contradicts it. I shouldn't have skipped that. They probably moved the body there. No! No, that's wrong! No, that's wrong! No, I don't think the killer moved the body. Huh? Why? Try to remember what the body looked like when he found it under the table. Though there was a lot of blood everywhere. There was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through. So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body. I see. I get your point. Oh, and here I thought I had a genius idea. You're stupid. Too bad you're so stupid and boring and unpopular. Your life is meaningless. Facts. I respond better to praise, you know. But if the killer didn't move the body, why was it under the table? Byakuya was probably killed under the table. What? You think he was killed under the table? You got a problem with that? So Byakuya snuck under the table for reasons unknown. And that's when he was killed. Then, shortly thereafter, he found his body under the table. Th that does make sense, but why did he go under the table? Obviously, he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big jokester. What? What? The hell he was? You seriously couldn't tell what kind of person he was? Hmm. Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. It's a blackout, not an earthquake. Just because the power went out doesn't mean he'd dive under the table. Oh, maybe he was maybe he was trying to get his um goggles and he and he dropped them under the table. The reason why? is probably connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, don't you think? Reason Byakuya dove under the table. If it's connected to what he was doing, then it's probably... Crap! Okay, the... Okay, so the answer is... Ah, right, the answer is obviously... Oh, it might be the knife. I can prove it with this. It probably has something to do with the knife we found under the table. Knife? Oh, you mean that thing that obviously screams, I am the murder weapon! Yakuya probably noticed the knife was hidden there. So in order to get it, he moved under the table. He was particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items. So I cannot deny that possibility. But how did he notice that there was a knife under the table? If he knew beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Then, instead of knowing about it beforehand, maybe he saw it right at that moment. Like, for example, he might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from under the table. No, that's not possible. Huh? You seem rather confident about that. Because there was a blackout, stupid. Of course. I have proof to back me up. <laughs> this is almost like a real trial. During the previous statement, there was only one weak spot. But from this point on, there will be various weak spots standing in your way. No matter how many weak spots there are, there will only be one lie or contradiction in the debate at one time. That means there will be false weak spots. We shoot a false weak spot. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm sure Byakuya ducked under the table during the blackout. Okay. That sounds correct. Yes. If that's the case, during the blackout, Mr. Ham Hams must have 
seen the killer take the knife. Yes. But it was super pitch black. Uh huh. It was so dark I couldn't see my food. Okay. Byakuya couldn't see in the dark either. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. No, Yakuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Why do you say that? He was using those night vision goggles we found under the table. He could have seen what was happening. So, are you saying Yakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? Yeah, that seems to be the case. The one? Your reasoning is out of focus. Hey, what the heck? Okay, that's no, new. It's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. Another way around? Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not Yakuya. That's new! Okay! Between you and me, I was also surprised. Just kidding, I'm sorry. Rebuttal showdown, counter, weak spots, with the WASD keys, shape of the remark is important to know whether it cut vertically. Alright, bro, look, look, hush, 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 hush. I'm sorry, I didn't comprehend a single thing that I read, so I'm like, whatever, I'ma just... Okay. If you just use comments, the killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. If you just use the killer, obviously use those night vision. That's gotta be it. Advance. Where's your proof that the killer used them? Because if they use night vision, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality, that's what happened. So those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. I don't know. I'm so lost, bro. Then they could have killed Byakuya oh, even in the dark. Oh, I see. I see what I'm supposed to do. I see. I see. I see. No. Triangle. I gotta. I gotta use. Um. Why? Is that it? Yeah, I did it. I did it. I did it. I figured it out. No, Yakuya was definitely the one who brought those night vision goggles. Definitely? But why? He had the case in his, um, in the case. Inside the Duralumin case Yakuya had with him during the party. He found a smaller case for storing the night vision goggles. Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside that Duralumin case as well. Woohoo! I said assume! Izuki never uses such clever language. Plus, Yakuya was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. I see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. Then... Was that knife inside the case too? No. If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there too. It would be weird. I am weird, aren't I? At times like this, I'd rather be fantasizing about tonight's main dish. What is wrong with you? Ooh, you totally mean that in a perverted way. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It, it just wasn't. I should be able to prove it. I mean, the case being the Dura Moonin case is understandable. I mean, I see. How does that work? There was duct tape left under the table where the body was found. Okay. Huh? Duct tape. What does that mean? It probably hit the knife by duct taping it to the underside of the tape. I feel stupid because that's actually like, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, my bad. Though Byakuya was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. This may be off topic, but why was Byakuya acting so paranoid? Not only did he bring a self-defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case too. That's true. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. 
Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. He probably knew someone was planning to commit a murder. Are you saying he predicted the murder? Could it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? Shut up! You think so too, right, Hajime? You're not Kyoko! You're not Kyoko, don't try to alley-oop me! I can prove it with this! Everyone, can you please take a look at this? Be careful, the first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. Hey, the hell is this? Hajime and I found this in Yakuya's cottage. It looks like a threatening letter someone sent for him. So, who's the someone? Nobody besides Monokuma would write such a dumb, threatening letter like that. Wasn't me! Are you sure? The only lies I tell are friendly lies! Those are still lies! It doesn't matter who wrote it yet. So, Yakuya became paranoid because of this threatening letter? He probably decided to throw a party because of the letter. What do you mean? By gathering everyone in one place, he tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. In doing so, he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. But the letter might have been just a little prank. As long as he was determined not to let any of us die, he couldn't take that risk. His strong sense of responsibility made him believe the letter was legitimate. You should have told us you received a threatening letter. If he had, we would have panicked. Yakuya probably knew that too. So, he tried to do something about it without telling anyone? I see. Strong sense of responsibility as our leader is empty. Screw that noise! Who the hell wrote that letter? Well, obviously, the killer. The killer. Is it really one of us? Who is it? Among us, who's the one who killed Biakia? Enough already! Show yourself! I'm about to say, I, but I know you're not about to ask me to, like, like say who it was already. If they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place. But I still can't believe it. Someone in this room killed Biakia. There's no way I can believe that um, yet. Pardon me. Can I say something, please? Get the yapping. What is it, Miss Sonia? I regret that I must return to this topic, but I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? He was under the cottage. You're right. They wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? Even if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. No, the, kill the killer definitely used a mark. Because of the mark, the killer was able to get the knife from under the tablecloth into his hands. I see. What if the glowing paint was the mark? With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. In actuality, the knife we found under the table and the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint, right? Does that mean the killer painted them in advance? The painting them with glowing paint? It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. They had to have already known. That's why they used the glowing paint as a mark. Which means whoever set up the blackout is the killer. That seals it. The killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. Which means it was you, Peko Pekoyama! <laughs> Peko killed poor Byakuya? Was this island not big enough for two glasses wearers? Not the killer. Oh, I guess she's not. How can you believe her so easily? But with Peko's height, I don't think she'd be able to reach the They're about to, yeah. The They're gonna use her sword as an excuse. I don't care about a technicality like that. 
Kekko's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the blackout. By tripping the breaker directly from the office, Pekko was the one who caused the blackout. Is that really what happened? Blue colored weak spots. What? We call the weak spots we see in argue spots. The blue colored ones will be a grease spots. When shooting at a grease spot with the truth bullets, you need to flip your way of thinking. Instead of arguing that their other person's testimony contains lies, fire a truth bullet to prove that they're correct. When your truth bullet merge with their weakness, it'll be a logically sound agreement. Isn't it a little hot in here? You must infer whether it's best to argue or agree based on being the... I'm sick of you. I'm sick of you. You and your stupid controls. Since Pekka was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time. That's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the office. Not even before the blackout. What happened to your guard duty? Sorry. Oh, you weren't in the office? That's clearly a desperate excuse. Alright, I know what to do. I know what to do. Not even before the blackout. Right there. I agree with that. No, I think Pekka was telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you're crushing on Pekka. Yo, how about you go hit something electrical and freaking electric to death? It's nothing like that at all. Nikomaru's account is actually Pekka's alibi. I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time shortly after the party started. And it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. Uh, then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually... Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekko. I... I guess that would be... true. You locked yourself in the commode? You should have said so earlier! There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive. She locked herself in the bathroom for that long? There's no doubt. It's shit. <laughs> oh, there's no way she'd admit it. There's no way she'd admit she was taking a shit. Hey, weren't you guys taught any basic manners, or were you raised in a locker room? I'm sorry. It's fine. How about we stop talking about this and move on to something else? Don't worry. The smell wasn't that strong. I used the bathroom right after you, so you can trust me. Said it's fine. But still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning or something? Uh, but hey, hey, another reason why it could have been the chef. As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that, I was unable to leave the bathroom, including when the blackout occurred. Hey, how did it feel to do your business in the dark? Did you get excited? What? Seriously, stop it. Thank you. But still, your stomach pain. Was that really just a coincidence? Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. <laughs> I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. Stop this childish nonsense. Just what do you mean by coincidence? What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped her some laxatives? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? I see. That might have happened. The question is whether Pekko's stomach ache was a coincidence or someone intentionally caused it. Depending on the answer, this outcome of trial might change drastically. I don't know how to prove this.
Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it... We brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Too, too cooked the food, how suspicious! I wouldn't do anything like that! Laxatives would ruin the taste! I guess, no. I mean, yeah, they would ruin the taste. I, Did you I don't know why. I thought I thought I was gonna agree with that for some reason. There might have been some laxatives in it. Right here, maybe. No, that's wrong. No, it's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall. Yeah, because we would have ate it all. Because Pickle wasn't the only one who ate that food. The Connie ate some of it too. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. I feel totally fine. Like I said, the, the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. I apologize for causing the scene. Fuyuhiko should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. What the fuck did you say, bitch? Save this bickering. Let's just dismiss Peko's stomach ache as a coincidence. And go back to discussing the blackout. All right. Yeah, yeah. We already know that you trashy skank. You don't have to tell us. Calm down. Trashy skank. As long as the murder happened with during the blackout, then the blackout itself is what's actually important. We need to make it clear how that blackout occurred. Oh wait, maybe this? No? Crap. Oh my goodness, then why did you say it? Or maybe they caused a power surge? Oh, right here. I agree with that. It's just as my Yuru said. The blackout was caused by a power surge. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it. Intention. Which is why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. When you found them right after the blackout, the irons were still on, right? So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Yeah, it seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. Stupid fool! What? Why are you being difficult, bro? Hold on a second, let me speak too! What the heck? You say the irons in the storage room were used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable! If the irons in the storage room caused them for the killer to turn the irons off, you're saying they went all the way to the storage? Then that means everyone who was when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. Okay. No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. Hold on. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the blackout. If the irons caused, then the killer had to go to the storage room before that and turn on the iron. Now do you intend to take back what you said? But the people in the dining hall were if the irons caused the blackout. No. That's not it. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the blackout. If the irons caused the blackout, allow me to cut. Through I don't those see words. what that has to do with it, but let me see. Let's see. We'll find out. The irons are just one reason the blackout occurred, but they weren't the direct trigger. The direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked on. Oh, so the irons were just like preparation when the actual air conditioners clicked on. That's what actually caused the surge. Okay. 
The timers for both air conditioners were set to 11.30 p.m. 11.30 p.m.? Mr. Ham Ham's died around that time, too! I see. When the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. I see! I understand! Indubitably! Indubitably? They probably checked the old building's energy usage in advance and use the irons to nearly max it out. So once they set the air conditioner's timers, they just had to wait until they started up on their own. If so, even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout, indubitably. Indubitably? Miss Sonia, not you too. Regarding the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. Dun dun dun! Is she right? Such a hateful fear! You deserve to die a thousand deaths! A thousand, you say? If I died that many times, I might really stay dead, you know? Shut up! You guys just stay quiet! I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. Even so, I'd still regret. If I was in the office, I could have reset the breaker in time. And maybe the murder wouldn't have occurred. No, the breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible, no matter what. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. It's alright. You don't have to worry. Because they're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. Excuse me? There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. In the end, hope always wins. That's what I believe. N Nagito? W what happened to you? Huh? What do you mean? Well, you have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Oh, is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. For now, we found out how the blackout occurred. But the question is, who caused it, right? Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. You're the only one who would have done it, though. What are you implying? He's just saying, after all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? Fortunately, it's the truth. Despite the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the killer. But that might be because... There's no way any of us could be a killer. You... You're changing your story again? Anyway, I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? Doesn't that mean... Are you saying we should all just give up and die? He's the killer, bro! Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. <laughs> You guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. Suspecting each other like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. I apologize, bro is not Makoto. Let's stop this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. I can't stand this anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. I, I don't want to do this either. He sounds so fake. Me too! Please! Take me home already! <laughs> I wanna go home and eat candy! S stop it! If everyone acts like this, I... I'm gonna... Everyone calm down! We're all friends, aren't we? There's no way one friend would murder another! Then why did Byakuya die? Who cares? Let's just give up already. There are no clues that lead to the killer anyway. Not a single one. That's wrong. I think. 
Did you say something? <laughs> we've already found a clue that might point to who the killer is. You know who the killer is? The killer? I don't know. But we do have a clue about a suspicious person. I think. I see. Then care to tell me, what's this clue you're talking about? First of all, let's try thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife during the blackout. They had to have been in the building before Biafia was in there and able to collect everything. Meaning... Mm, I wonder who the first person in that building was. Didn't we already cover that? They use glowing paint as a mark. No, not that. I mean before that. Before? She asking how the killer got close to that table? Even if they had to obtain the knife by relying on the glow from the paint in order to do that, they needed to get close to that, to that table while it was still dark. Let's try examining the situation. My hero's diagram might be useful here. The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um, here it is. Nagito! Nagito, what are you doing by that table? Just as I thought, this diagram is the clue. Who the killer is and how they were able to move to the table in the dark. That's clearly shown in this diagram. First, we need to discuss how the killer was able to move to that table in the dark. The killer probably used something to help them move in the dark. How the lamp was off. Killer must have used the desk lamp to move to that table in the dark. How the lamp was off. The desk lamp. I hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. They used the cord. They felt against the wall and they used the cord. Okay, that's smart. There was a blackout. There's no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. Way to use the desk lamp's light. They use the power cord. I can prove it with this. They didn't turn the desk lamp on. They used its power cord. Power cord? They could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? By doing that, the killer was able to move to the table and use the glowing paint to find the knife. And there's only one person here who could have done that. I actually didn't even I actually didn't want it to be you bro why'd you gotta be the killer you're the only one you're the only one you're the only one it was you wasn't it me don't act surprised goober judging from everyone's positions before the blackout the only person near the power cord was you. Facts. Huh. Which means the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was Nagito. <laughs> That's just a coincidence. That's tell it to the judge. But still, you had a chance, right? A chance to hide the knife under the table. Nagito's chance to hide the knife under the table when he was cleaning. I see. Nagito, weren't you cleaning the dining hall all morning? If so, you would have had a chance to hide the knife. That's... If you factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning it, you're the only one who could have done it. Facts. Seriously, that's all just a coincidence. Nah, bro. If it was just one coincidence, it'd be fine. But when it's one right after another, I wonder, is something like that even possible? Could it be? Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? Now that you mention it, Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. To be honest, I was already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. To go out of the trouble to rep uh, prepare something like this. What did you think was gonna happen? Whoever draws a chopstick with a red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? 
You rigged the drawing, didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? I don't know if you're the killer or not, but regardless, it proves that you're suspicious, right? If that's the case, that strange speech you made earlier, that was part of your plan, too. You got us to lower our guard and tried to hide the fact that you did it, didn't you, you motherfucker? Well, just admit it already! You're the killer! Nagito, tell me you object to this. Frankly, I don't want to believe it either. We investigated together. You were so kind. I can't believe you're the one who killed Byaku. <laughs> Nagito, say something! Bro's a little silly. The ultimates are working together to combat the despair of their friend's death. Uh, how wonderful. How beautiful it is. Huh? Those eyes. At that moment, Nagito's eyes. The darkness in his eyes shone brightly, as if layers upon layers of darkness were folding into each other as if hope and despair had been crudely mixed together. Let's cut to the chase. You're correct. It was my doing all along. I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the dark. <laughs> Bro looks so silly. And of course, I'm the one who caused the blackout. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone, right? Uh, is it just me, or does he seem a little nuts right now? No, he definitely seems a little nuts right now. But I never expected Byaku to have night vision guns. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table. And, well, we all saw how that went. Twist ending like this, I think we can all agree this ended up being a very interesting mystery. <laughs> Byakuya performed admirably. Just stop it already! Seriously! What the hell happened to you? Don't tell me. Is this your true nature? Were you lying to us this entire time? Lie? That's outrageous! There's no way someone like me could have lied to you guys. I understand better than anyone else the ultimate importance. Too arrogant to have dreams or cling to hope. Too disdainful to actually try at anything. I've made peace with the fact that I'm a low, stupid, insignificant human who can't do anything right. Bro, I'm not here for your life story, dawg. Hurry up and get your punishments. Get, get executed already, bro. Holy crap! He's totally the type of guy who spent his childhood killing neighborhood pets! Bro thinks he's keezing me. He seems like the sort of person whose eyes light up while watching Friday the 13th. Just like me. What? That's quite the hobby you have there. But, like, now's not really the time to bring it up. Is he the real Nagito? Hey, Nagito. If you were behind all of this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Yep, I sure did. There's nobody else on this island whose handwriting is that painful to look at, right? But why would you send a threatening letter in the first place? I think somewhere deep in my heart. I was probably hoping to find someone who would stop my evil deeds. Well, I bet if that really was my reason, at least some of you would feel sorry for me. Are you making fun of us? Who <laughs> do you think you are, Nagito? Get out of here. By threatening Yakuya, Nagito is likely able to manipulate his actions. Then how about that old looking building near the hotel? Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. In doing so, Nagito was able to manipulate everyone to the scene where the murder would occur. Am I wrong? Nah, you're right. 
Nagito was the one who suggested I guard the office. Well, not only is the storage room packed with a lot of stuff, it's hard to see in there and it's full of cobwebs. And I was so busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't even have the time to clean the storage room. If you stayed in there for a long time, I think you'd be bad for your health. In that case, why don't you guard the case? Why don't you guard the case in the office? Oh, I get it. If Paco was guarding the storage room, Nagito wouldn't have been able to use the irons. The threatening letter, along with all your suggestions, it was all a trap to manipulate us. Yep. That's true, too. But you're wrong about one thing. Uh, huh? What? I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know? If that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? He's the ultimate lucky student. I see. Well, there's no way I'd expect you to remember it. A worthless talent for a worthless human. Nagito's talent. Lucky student. Then, did you? That's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. You just relied on your luck? It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks. But I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? Ah, uh, I'm left with the red mark. If someone caught the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky. But it was actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty. Just like I wanted. Enough. That... I don't care about that anymore. More importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! Byakuya was a very capable leader. For someone like him to get killed? The despair it brings. It's only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. That was my only motivation. You're not making any sense! Fine, let's start the damn vote already. I'm ready to fucking kill this site. Please! Monokuma! Please, please! What? Huh? The fuck? Um, 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 how should I put this? Um, is Huh? Um, what do you say? He's already confessed, hasn't he? I already know that, but um, there's just. She's about to bring up exactly what I was thinking earlier. If he, if he used a knife to kill Byakuya, why were the, why were the, why were the punctures five millimeters thick? That's not right. Someone has to have used the skewers. I, I knew something was off here, but they were just going so deep into it. I was like, maybe I'm tripping. If it's only a little, then keep your mouth shut. Your ugly face is stressing me out. It makes me want to puke. Calm down. <laughs> Um, for now, might I suggest we listen to what she has to say? But we know who the killer is. Simply listening is acceptable. Calm down. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. Yeah, you cornball. Oh, no, they're already doing the white noise. I already know about white noise. I already know about white noise. I gotta use, um, is it Mikan? I, I think it's strange that the killer is so obviously Nagito. Um, you know, that bastard Nagito is the one who did it. He killed Byakuya with a knife he did. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. That knife might not be the murder weapon. That's what you wanted to say, right, Mikan? What the hell are you talking about? 
It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Based on the entry wound on Yakuya's body, the actual weapon should be roughly five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters in diameter? That's like way skinnier than a knife. Hey, that better be true. If you screwed up, I'll sell your fucking ass to a whorehouse. Yo, chill. <laughs> Is this what you're trying to say, Nikon? As long as we can't prove that the knife is the murder weapon, we can't assume that I'm the killer. What are you saying? No one else can be the killer. It has to be you. Hey, don't blame me. Mikan's the one who said it. I'm sorry. I knew it. She's thinking up something good. She's cooking something. Hey, Nagito. Are you still hiding something? Uh, hiding? Like, during the blackout, did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? Hold on, why y'all trying to twist this on me? Who knows? After all this, what else do you intend to hide? Jeez, the moment your back's against the wall, you get all silent. You piss me off! What happened during the blackout? Hmm... Mm -hmm. If you cross your eyes like this, it gives you double vision. What are you? Oh my goodness. Don't get distracted. Our lives are at stake, you know? Huh? Whose life is at stake? Seriously, how long is it going to take for you to understand the damn rules? Nobody can see in the dark. No matter how hard you think about it, the truth is beyond your sight. Don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor? Despite the fact that it came from me. No, that's not it. Not it. What's not it? I'm confused. The truth is beyond our sight. No, that can't be it. There should be some way to find out what happened in the dark. Are we really about to do the embarrassing pose? I'm about to say. I'm about to say, bro. I'm about to say. I just needed to test it out right quick, bro. Like, there's no freaking way. What'll help us find out what happened? Okay, I'm actually lo oh Ibuki, Ibuki, Ibuki. I can prove it with this. Even if we couldn't see what happened in the dark, I'm pretty sure someone could have heard. It. Isn't that right, Ibuki? Oh, real? Don't act so surprised. You were the one who told me, remember? While everyone was shouting during the blackout. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Ah, don't step on my bee! What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? How did Taro Taro get in the... How did he get in the dining hall? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. How did he get in the dining hall? There's only one way from the kitchen to the dining hall, and that's to go through the kitchen door, get into the um the hallway, and then walk around, get to the dining hall. He did not do that during the blackout. How did he get in the dining hall? Such perceptive hearing. Impressive. I'd expect no less from the ultimate musician. It's a good thing your ears are awesome because your face, style, figure, and personality totally suck. I disagree with that statement. <laughs> You've cut me deep with your knife of truth. However, after hearing what Byakuya and Nagito said in the dark... What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! It almost sounds like... Byakuya fought back against Nagito or something. Well, that's actually what happened. Huh? As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent, I have a small confession to make. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Byakuya. He shoved you out? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. But Byakuya, wearing his night vision goggles, 
caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. That's right. I'm so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. So Bianca just stopped him when he was trying to get the knife. Then he got shoved from under the table before he could even grab it. Well, it sounds plausible. I mean, just from listening to what they both said at the time. What the hell? What's going on here? This is... Ow! I can interpret it like that. No, actually. Now that I think about it, that sounds like exactly what happened. After getting shoved out from under the table, I was just as confused as you guys. I lost sight of the glowing paint. And I didn't even know where the power cord was. Before I realized it, the lights had come back on, and Byakuya's body was lying under the table. So you're not the killer then? H hold on! Are you saying you're not the killer? From the very beginning, the idea to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the blackout, it was all going according to plan. But unfortunately, my plan failed. And all thanks to Byakuya's night vision goggles. What happened after that? Even I don't know. So, I'm, bro, so it is Terra Terra. You failed? Th then you're not the one who killed Byakuya? Then we're right back to square one! How can that be? We spent all this time talking back and forth! What other world is bringing so much despair? But you can't give up. You need to have hope. Do your best and move forward. Rising to the challenge again and again is why you guys are the symbols of hope. Is Nagito really not the killer? It's Terra Terra. Is this guy really the Nagito I knew before? No, there's no way I can say that. I just thought I knew him, but this whole time I didn't know a thing about this guy. I didn't know his true character. It's simple as that. But now is not the time for me to dwell on that. We need to find Byakuya's killer by any means possible. Because if we don't, we... We will die here. What? What? Well now. Now then, the class trial has reached its climax, but... Okay, here's a question for you. What's this? To those of you who figured out who it is, how about you try the guess the killer challenge? Whoever fails to guess the right killer will have their same data. Now then, what are you Ah, dang it! I was actually gonna guess. There's no way you'd be able to guess who the killer is. I was actually gonna guess too. I was gonna guess. I was gonna make a guess. Hi, Mona me. And my heart is throbbing like crazy right now. The group leader Byakuya got killed. And his killer is among this group of students? No, nope, I'm not gonna believe it. I'll never believe it. Cause I believe in everyone. So do your best. And don't forget to save regularly! Well, what now? If the knife isn't the murder weapon, there's no definitive proof that I'm the killer. Sh shut up! We'll be the judge of that! Y you say you were shoved away, but you can't actually prove it, right? That's right. Even if a different weapon was used, it does not mean Nagito has been cleared of suspicion. That earring on your ear, that's a, that's kind of, I could use that as a truth bullet. But, but, there's another reason why I don't think Nagito is the killer. There's still more? Based on what we've discussed, Byakuya was killed under the table, right? Is there something wrong with that? Well, he was on his stomach. That's true. I think Nagito looks... Nobody's ever complimented me on my appearance before. 
not even my own mother. Why don't you kill yourself, dog? You sound like you've lived a, a, like a, just a horrible life. Don't nobody love or care about you. Just end it already. At this point, every time, every every word that comes out of your mouth is just depressing, bro. You might as well just act on your internal thoughts. I'm not talking about your looks. No. Crap. All right, this blood thing. Cause I was when I said when I put dust, I was thinking about like going under the building. Cause that's obviously the way. That's obviously how they killed like, him. Why didn't Nagito have any blood stains on him? Yes, that's it. Because under the table, there was a lot of blood splattered everywhere. Right? There were even blood stains on the inside of the tablecloth. He stabbed Byakuya to death. It's strange he did not get splattered with an appropriate amount of blood. I didn't get any blood on me. That is weird. <laughs> you just used something to block the blood, didn't you? Something that might have been used to block the blood splatter. What do you think it could have been? Hmm. I guess we did see something I could have used. Isn't that right, Hajime? He's making me think of OG Byakuya. The way he would like lead us on into thinking he was the killer. And then at the and then like we would just have to casually figure out it wasn't him. He's just being a jerk, bro. I can prove it with this. You're talking about the bloodstained tablecloth we found in the storage room, right? If there are blood stains on it, that settles it. Nagito used the tablecloth to block the blood splatter. But that was found in the storage room, right? Are you suggesting he hid it there after the murder? Yeah. You mean after the lights came back on? What would he have done if we'd seen him? That's true. The tablecloth was pretty big. So even if you tried to hide it and take it with you... Wearing a tablecloth, going under the table... Putting a knife in a blackout and stabbing someone. Yeah, it's not happening. It's not just impossible for someone like me. Wouldn't it also be impossible for you guys too? Then what does it mean? It means you're the killer. Maybe the killer didn't necessarily stab Yakuya under the table. Huh? No, there's no mistake that the murder occurred under that table. Even the inside of the tablecloth is bloody, so there's no denying Byakuya was killed there. But that doesn't mean where Byakuya got stabbed and where the colors of the stabbing are the same, right? I don't understand at all! I, I didn't think- I didn't expect you to. You're kind of stupid. The place where Byakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are different. Huh? Look like you're on to something. Nagito, your voice is about to make me mad. Shut up. Really? It sounds like a riddle. I feel like I'm on to something, but it's still not clear what that is. No, it is pretty clear what it is. You're just kind of dumb. Under the table, but not under the table. If it's somehow possible, it's the only way that makes sense. Moving forward, we should put aside all unnecessary preconceptions and just choose the answer. I think. Seems we have to figure out improved. Oh my goodness, Hangman's Gambit again. Goal is to line up the right letters. Like a little puzzle. Two different letters clash. Two letters. Two of the same letters clash. Wait, what? Oh my goodness, that's so much words. That's so many words. That's so many words. The place where Byakuya got stabbed and the place where the killer did the stabbing aren't the same. Using those words as a clue, I should be able to put my... Just save, bro, because I know I'm about to be messing up a lot. I'm not reading those freaking instructions. It's too many words, bro. Something's coming on to me. Just a little more. I have a feeling I can see a little something. I just see something. Yeah. That thing. Okay. What it is, um, U-N-D, 
E R under. So I'm looking for a U. Can I like? Okay. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I can do that. What was that wrong? Wait. Okay, I more or less see what I have to do here. I don't. I'm. I'm I just. I don't really know what I'm doing, bro. Can I like put you there? What am I doing? I, oh, I need an E. Get rid of that. I don't care. I think I see what I'm doing. I think I see what I'm doing. You in. Okay. I want to let you, I want you to let you go. You in R on er. I have that. Do not No! Yo, stop it! Ah, you're about to make me mad! Oh man, I think I, if, if what I'm doing, if, if I'm going about it the right way, if I was going about it the right way, then I was close to, I was close to figuring it out. Under, I just need an E. No, that's not it. I need a, D, a U, I need a D and an N, a D and an N, a D and an N. Give me an R, give me an R, give me an R. I said an R, I said an R. Now I need an R and an E. Y'all playing with me, bro. Y'all playing with me. Y'all about to make me mad. I'm gonna be so pressed if I'm doing this wrong. If I'm doing this wrong, I'm gonna be so mad. Give me a D. I got mad. And hit my desk. And it caused my hard drive to disconnect. Is there another button I can press? Another button I can press. I'm, I'm gonna try pressing something else. I'm gonna try pressing something else. That is stupid. My goodness, is this this mini game was making me mad? Cause they got a dang wall of text before. I'm not reading all that. The killer must have stabbed Yakia from under the floor. I'm not reading all them walls of Texas. I'm not reading all that. Like, bro. Like, just make it straightforward. You don't gotta make it all stupid and complicated like that, dude. Under the floorboard? Yeah, believe it, believe it. Shut up. I'm mad now. I can't even be nice to nobody no more. I'm mad. And there was no carpet laid out under the table. If they stuck the weapon through one of the gaps, they could have stabbed Yakia to death. If so, that means the killer was able to get under the floorboards. Where? How? I don't know that yet, but I have a feeling there's someone here who does know. The only one. Hey Gundam, you dropped your earring in the dining hall, right? Referring to the Hellhound earring? About that ear. I said, are you referring to the Hellhound earring? Shut up and answer the question, bro! About that Hellhound earring. You dropped it beneath the floorboard, right? How do I recover it? I can't fit my arm through this opening. Where I didn't use a tool, I wouldn't reach it either. <laughs> Just a bit longer and I would have reduced everything, including that old building, to ashes. However, it's just as the old legend said. The Hellhound earring has returned to its owner, to me. 
Is it safe to say that that earring is the one hanging from your right ear? Huh? Could it be? Gundam wasn't wearing an earring during the investigation. And if he had it on by the time the class trial began, then that means Gundam was able to retrieve his earring from beneath the floorboards during the investigation. So, Gundam knows how to get under the floorboards. <laughs> It's understandable. After all, you fools only view the world through eyes of glass. Shut up, man. I don't have the patience to put up with you and your stupidity right now. But I am different. With the power of my four dark devas of destruction, it is of no concern. True, this is the evil fourth eye. Before the might of the evil fourth eye, all visual chaos is rendered asunder. What should I do? I'm embarrassed just listening to him. Kill him! No! Man up and speak more clearly! Fine, I shall tell you all. The answer was in the storage room. One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has seen beyond the chaos. A secret passage of doom leading to the underground lurks beneath a large assortment of random boxes. After securing a lighter from the supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floorboards. And as a result of that lonesome battle, I was able to recover the Hellhound earring with my own two hands! <laughs> Tremble with fear, fools! Behold my power! There he goes blabbing about power and crap. You're ridiculous. You're just a breeder, you know. Anyway, it sounds like you can go under the floorboards from the storage room. And that has to be how the killer did it. If the space beneath the floor is empty, it's not that far to move from the storage room to the dining hall. I see. If they pass through the storage room, I understand why the tablecloth was put there. The killer lurked under the floorboards during the party, and from there... Stab! 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 Hmm. Are you sure? You don't like stab, stab, stab? Should it sound more fleshy? Like... I'm not talking about your sound effects. You're saying they snuck under the floorboards, but that means they would have had to leave the party, right? So, was there anyone who was able to do that? You! Then whoever wasn't at the party is the killer. They must be the one who was waiting under the floorboards. Who wasn't at the party again? Mmm, I wonder. I didn't participate, but I was guarding the entrance, remember? Monomi over there can be my witness, right? Yes! This Monomi over here is your witness! I believe there's no need to discuss this matter further, but I was unable to leave the bathroom. I was in the kitchen for a long time, but I frequently went to the dining hall to deliver my dishes. Um, the only person who wasn't at the party... Judging from the photo I took before the blackout... It obviously has to be him! Was it really for you, Hiko? I still think it was Teru Teru, bro. What, what the fuck are you saying? I'm not the killer. Oh, really? What happened to the tough guy who was saying stuff like, I can do it. Don't mess with me. I'll fucking kill you. Sound like something the killer would say. See? You're making threats again. Yep, yep, that's right. Things are starting to get exciting. Use a silence it. Thank you. Crap, man. I'm gonna have to use Chiaki's account probably. During the party, the killer was lurking under the floor like a cockroach. And you could have stared at panties all day without going to the storage room in the dark. Is that true, Uyuhiko? Don't act like I'm the fucking killer. But when the party started, nobody saw you, you know. 
That means you have no alibi. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. No, Fuyuhiko definitely has an alibi. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Um. Oh, you're right. Huh? What happened for you, Hiko? Oh, hey, what are you doing here all alone at a place like this? I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. How diligent of you. I saw Fuyuhiko after the party started. There's no way he could have been waiting under the floor before then. You should have said that earlier, dumbass. It's still your fault. Like, why were you even lurking around the old building in the first place? Shut up! Maybe there really is a secret passage to go under the floorboards from outside. And he came to spy. What'd you say, motherfucker? Oh, no! <laughs> wow, he got chewed out, but he looks super happy. Regardless, it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Chiaki and I already confirmed that. Then someone definitely went under the floorboards. Why are you looking at me? During the party. Why are you looking up at me? You're talking to them, not me. Someone disappeared during the blackout, no one would have noticed. But walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make eggs benedict without any eggs. You're right. I couldn't even see the office in that darkness. And that room was much closer. But is it really impossible? It might be better if we examine that possibility a little bit more. It was super dark, you know? There's no way you'd be able to find your way to the storage room. Can't stop thinking about it. I feel like there's something I overlooked. For clarity's sake, once Here's, again. We're getting close to the final stage. I guess he's gonna be like a he's gonna be this game's Kyoka. The blackened or the spotless. Which is superior? I think it's time to settle this. <laughs> The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish. Is it really not possible? What if they used a string like the cord? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? What a pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? A portable stove. He used a portable stove as a light. Get a storage room like that. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish. Is it really not? What if they used a strip? Maybe there was another pair of knife with a pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? I agree with that. I know. The killer had a light with him. Oh, I was right. Yeah. But where could they have found a light? There was one nearby for sure. See? It's written on the kitchen's equipment list. Three frying pans, iron plates, and a portable stove. Iron plates and a portable stove. I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. This kitchen seems to be well kept. There should be no problems using it. It's the portable stove. Portable stove? The portable stove isn't powered by electricity. And it's also small enough to carry around. Why are you looking at me like that? So, the killer used the portable stove to move from the hallway to the storage room during the blackout. Let me see. I never considered the portable stove. But there's a hole in your argument. Prove it. A hole? What kind of... Oh, I wasn't making a perverted joke or anything. It's really not a per... Repeating yourself just makes it even more suspicious. Now then, Hajime. Will you battle against me? No, that's wrong. Will you be able to break through my argument? What does he mean, battle? It sounds like he's enjoying a game or something. Uh, I'm not gonna lose against someone like him.
Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? Ah, it's just a muscle yip, yeah. What, said. what are you trying to say? The reason Kazuichi couldn't see was because the hallway was dark. So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? After all, he was walking near the hallway, right? That's where he used a tablecloth, maybe. And it wasn't a blood stain that was on the cloth. It was a burn mark. Oh, maybe he went through the fire what are you door. Trying to say? The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the office was because the hallway was dark. But so if a light was shining in such a dark hallway. Try this, maybe? Right here? No? The reason Kazuichi couldn't was because the hallway. So if a light was shining, wouldn't Kazuichi? After all, he was walking near the hallway, right? The reason Kazuichi couldn't was because the hallway was so if a light was shining in such a dark hallway. Wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? Oh, okay, I got it. Through those words. Nagito, did you forget? Or are you just pretending you forgot? Huh? What are you talking about? There should have been a wall that blocked light. I'm talking about the fire door in the hallway. If you close it, it would form a perfect wall in the hallway. Plus, the hallway rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they pass the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. I see. I actually noticed the fire door. Just as expected of the ultimate... Oh, you still don't remember your talent, do you? Yeah, who cares about that right now? Bro, being a jerk, aren't you? Nagito, what are you plotting? For someone who insists he's not the killer, you are quite nosy. You sound so scary. If you're that angry, why don't you take a deep breath? You sure like to piss us off. How about I shut your fucking mouth for you? Hey, it's okay if you guys fight, but I won't allow a burly brawl that might offend people. More importantly, can you hurry up and decide who's the blackened already? Time runs out when I get bored. Fine, I get it. You're telling me to pass the torch, right? Pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer, not an imposter like me, to show themselves. <laughs> You're obviously the killer, right? If you think I am, I really don't mind. Whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at, I will accept it, no matter what it is. Calm down. So you're telling me to call out the real killer, even though I really don't want to condemn that person, but there's no other way, right? Person who used the hallway's fire door as a cover, used the portable stove to move in the dark, snuck under the floorboards to stab Byakuya to death using the glowing paint as a mark. The only killer I can think of is you and only you. Stop looking at me like that. I'm going with Taro Taro. You're the only one. Taro Taro, could it be you? What? What? What are you talking about? Taro Taro's the killer? Is that true? What are you talking about? There's no way! Of course, that's simply my assumption. So if you have an objection, please speak free. Uh, objection or not, why am I being treated like the killer? Because the portable stove used in the murder came from the kitchen. That's it? That's the only reason you're treating me like a killer? Isn't that a little drastic? You're cruel. Cruel. Too cruel. Uh... Oh, Terry, that attitude is so not like you. For the ultimate cook to get so upset. Call me Chef. If you fall to aspersions like this, who will be there to support the future of the culinary arts? The, the future of the culinary arts? That's right. For the future of the culinary arts, you must face this 
and fight it fair and square. You're right. Yeah, that's totally right. So what's an aspersion anyway? Is it yummy? Did you know asbestos is yummy too? You should try some later. I don't know what that is. Why are you interfering? Yeah, bro, you're being a pro you're being a problem right now, dog. Let's assume that the killer used a light, and that they used the fire door to mask that light, and that they moved to the storage room and snuck under the floorboards. Then what? It's dark under the floorboards too. So how would they be able to stab Biaku? You're not gonna say they shine the light on Biaku, you right? Plan would have been ruined if he noticed. That's right. What do you think about that? That's. There's no way you can answer, right? You personally haven't investigated what's beneath the floorboards. If that's the case, then Gundam should know. He actually went under the floorboards. No. Unfortunately, there was nothing related to the incident under the floorboards. The only thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness, near where Byakuya's blood was dripping. What? A shining liquid in the dark? Is that the paint? That sounds super important! If there was a shiny mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark, right? And in doing so, it might have been possible for them to use that mark to target the victim. If it's not the paint, then I really don't know. If it's not the paint, then I don't know. I can prove it with Oh, okay, so it is the paint. The mark you're talking about is the glowing paint that was applied to the knife, right? Ah, by using the glowing paint as a target, they were able to judge where to stab even in the dark. I see. The killer didn't target an actual person, they just struck the moment the glowing paint moved. That would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife. So, the killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for stabbing. I see. That's why Byakuya got killed when he took the knife. But if they were able to do that, wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? Well, Teru Teru! Seriously, I don't know anything. Really, I don't know anything at all. Then can I ask everyone a question instead? You again? Just oh, Lord. stop already! Now, now. We should give everyone a fair opportunity to speak. If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. And just what did he boot you hear during the blackout? Ah! Don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? She heard... Well, if he's under the floorboard, of course he's gonna sound close like the dining hall. Doesn't that prove Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout? That's right! That's exactly it! But Teru Teru was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So, why was he in the dining hall? I, I thought the blackout was only in the kitchen, so I panicked and ran out of there. Of course, the hallway was dark too, but somehow I managed to move along the wall toward everyone's voices. Cat. Well, it's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. That sounds fishy. If I remember correctly, you can tell when a person is lying by looking at this. So, if you want, you should try and look in. No way! You look greasy! But I heard Tara Taro's voice in the dining hall! Ibuki swears on her honor! That's right! Teru Taro was in the dining hall, not the storage room. Which means... he's not the killer. No, that's not it. Why? Why do you have to keep falsely accusing me? It ain't false! You're the killer! It's not like I wanna blame you. I just... You should be so proud of yourself, Hajime. 
You're just progressing toward the hope you believe in. Now, Hajime, show me more of your hope. Will that be enough to crush Teru Teru's hope? Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. It's handsome, unlike his face. Maybe it was recording or something? Nope, definitely a live voice. Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. I'll shoot through that contradiction. I'll shoot through that contradiction. Just because we heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. Exactly. Uh, huh? But why? You were under the dining hall, Goofy. Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor, it should have sounded just like the voices in the dining hall. But, 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 but. I see. So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make us think he was in the dining hall. Is that true, Teru Teru? <laughs> Hold on a second. Can you explain this, Teru Teru? I told you to wait a second, ain't I? What are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you, I was in that there dining hall during the blackout. <laughs> what? Where are you from again? Ooh, I was born in West Azabu and raised in South Ayuyama. Hey, you guys, this guy's a major liar. If Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout, he should have been there after the power returned, right? Well, I believe so. There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. Huh? Was Teru Teru actually there during that time? I, I sure was! I was there the whole damn time! Something like this shouldn't be decided by gut instinct. People's lives are at stake. I'm sick of you, bro. Shut up! Damn right! You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your haze and memories! His accent is getting even worse! He's definitely lying! However, I am not sure. I believe that he was there, and I believe that he was not there. No! Oh, is there any way we can decide? Why don't we consult his memories? His memories? Gosh, yeah, don't be saying things like that don't make no sense. Can you even prove I wasn't in the data hall? Probably can. Oh, 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 you again! Whether or not Terra Terra was in a dining hall during the blackout, in order to know for sure, you need to throw that question at him. Is it this, bro? I can prove it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> if you're claiming that you were in the dining hall when the power came back, then you should know how Mikan was positioned at the time. Right. Whoa, what? No! Don't make me remember! It's so embarrassing! No, this is a very important question. Well, Teru Teru, if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. Huh? Hmm? Um... It was a pretty clever way of tripping. There's no way you'd forget about it so easily. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I showed you something so unsightly. Ah, how about it? You can't answer, Teru Teru? Um... Um... From my mind. Nah, bro, you're a killer. There's no way it would slip from your mind, especially not a pervert like you. Uh, um, even so, Nagito, say something. Hmm. I guess you might have to give up now. Give up? What do you mean, give up? Teru Teru. I'm disappointed too, you know. It 
It's lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. It kind of feels like a broken dream. Nagito, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? Well, hold on a sec. Don't go moving this along on your own like I really am the killer. Huh? But it's already decided, right? No, 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 he said, if you're calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? Weapon, huh? It's not the knife, right? Judging from Kyaku's wounds, it was a thin, edged tool that's roughly five millimeters in diameter. Also, if they stabbed from under the floorboards, the weapon would need to be at least 50 centimeters in length. After all this, who cares about the weapon? Not good enough! Not good enough at all! He said, not good enough. Not good enough at all. Fine, I got it. Let's try thinking about what the weapon was. Wanna do it? Wanna do it? Um, he said, try to do it. <laughs> what a confusing accent. Oh, this is so obvious. It's so obvious. Oh my goodness! It's the skewer. Huh? Why are there two? What? Why are there two? It's the skewer, right? I iron! 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 I see, I see, I see. Must be the iron skewer. Huh? The iron skewer? Before the party, as Biagio was confiscating all the dangerous items, he spoke to Terror Terra. I checked the equipment list and there seems to be one iron skewer missing. Ah, uh, that's right. As far as I know, there's that's been missing from the start. So that missing iron skewer is the weapon? An iron skewer would match up with the wounds perfectly. Hey, Teru Teru, where'd you hide the iron skewer? Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh! Uh, Ava Levine? Huh? Did he really just say that? He's just saying random shit to fuck with us. You probably dumped it somewhere on the island, didn't you? This school trip has a no littering rule. If he had violated it, the island sirens would be ringing non-stop. Island sirens? Just for littering? Also, I was on guard duty, and I never once saw Teru Teru leave the old building. I feel like it's about to be something just disgusting. Which means, we obviously hid it somewhere in the old school. It's probably the kitchen again, right? Teru Teru, just man up and be straight with us. Oh! 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 We're nearing the end, a cornered opponent, soul shields. Listen to what you have to say, probably your pain. Has I don't care, bro. I just want this dude dead. Bullet time back, no. Peak talk action, panic talk action. PTA. This is literally just bullet time battle. It's just bullet time battle. It's bullet, it's just bullet time battle. Oh, dang it, I done skipped over it all. The iron skewer is the weapon, and hiding it in the kitchen would be the easiest way to slip it by. Think carefully. I'm not hiding anything. Cat. Shut 
it possible? Nonsense! Unforgivable! This is a lot. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't like this design for the bullet time. Where would the weapon be? What? Shut up. What was that? Unforgivable. I'm not missing. I'm literally clicking it right on top of the platform. I hate this UI, bro. I don't like this UI. I don't like this UI. I, I'm clicking it right when it hits it, bro. How am I missing? Nonsense. Hurry up and die, bro. Where would the weapon be? Meat on the bone. This is the end. What? That's that's not even proper grammar. Could the iron skewer have been hidden inside the piece of meat on the bone? <laughs> what are you saying? There's no way I'd hide anything. In a place like that? <laughs> that's clearly impossible. I mean, that's inside the food. Impossible. That's what Bianca and I thought. That's why we overlooked. It seems there are no dangerous items like that skewer in the chair inside that pile of food. That appears to be the case. No, we said fish bones or meat bones were also dangerous items. But in fact, the only place you could hide the weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Out of all the dishes you prepare, the only one that could hide a weapon as long as an iron skewer is the meat on the bone. What now? I'm using my right to remain silent. There's no way that exists here. We need to confirm this now! So if we eat that tasty-looking piece of meat and find the iron skewer inside, I'll die! All right. Monokuma or Monami, one of you hurry and bring over that piece of meat. One minute. Just give me one minute. I'll eat the whole thing! Wait, now hold on a second. Time out, time out! Ain't no time out! What are you doing? Hurry up and bring it over! Uh, about that. Huh? Where did Monokuma go? Bro just dipped out? I'm right here! I'm already eating it! Oh, a bear that eats meat! What were you expecting? Uh, wait, now that I think about it, that's pretty normal. Oh, what is this? So yummy! Damn it! That's my meat! I've never eaten anything like it in my entire life! The taste brings me back to my days in the wild. This, this is bad. Seriously, this is really bad. My, my. There's something inside the meat. Look what came out. Isn't that... Is that an iron skewer? Check it out. The handle looks like it's made of bone. Pretty clever. The sword of destruction, encased in bone and sheathed in meat. It brought catastrophe unto Byakuya. As expected of Teru Teru. Such a fantastic weapon from the ultimate chef. You're wrong. I'm not the killer. I'm not the kind of person who would kill someone. I got it. You all set me up. You guys set me up so you can blame this on me. Jeez, what a disappointment. Such an unseemly defense for an ultimate like you. Can you really call that hope? Hey, Nagato. I'm sorry, but can you just be quiet? He said, you're all nothing but a bunch of poor, loud mouth fast food eating hips. You... You don't need to translate anymore. Somehow I can tell what he's trying to say. Let's just deal with Nagito later. More importantly, we should first. I guess we need to settle this once and for all. To do that, we need to go over the entire incident from beginning to end and make everything clear. Go over the entire incident. I could prove Teru Teru's crime. So, 
We need to do it. My throb is ch closing argument. Complete summary. Comment. Oh my goodness, we're doing this again. No. Bro, if the mini games earlier weren't already making me mad, this is just gonna. This is just so much worse. There's no more. Dog, there isn't any more. There's no more. What, what do I do? Am I tripping, bro? Am I tripping? Am I tripping? I need to know if I'm tripping, bro. Because I literally can't get any more truth bullets. There's no more. I can't do anything. What am I doing? I'm not comprehending. Okay. That's stupid. Why, why is it? Why is the exact same thing in the same? Why is the exact same thing side by side as if it's two different things? That's stupid. Oh my goodness. Here's everything that happened in this case. Let's try going over the <sighs> at least beginning with right after the party started. Now that I oh my goodness. The, the, the icons are just as stupid as Trigger Happy Havoc. But at least, at least they don't have you freaking put everything, think you got it all figured out, and then you gotta sit there, sit through the entire thing before you find out it's wrong. At least you don't do, at least they're not doing that. Yakia had us gather in the dining hall of the old building near the hotel. He was extra cautious about a murder occurring that night because of a threatening letter he received. Therefore, he decided to throw a party so he could monitor us. The one person didn't come. The rest of us assembled at the dining hall, and the party was underway. But at that time, the trap set by a certain someone was already in motion. They plugged three irons into the outlets in the storage room, which nearly capped the power usage. Additionally, they prepared something else that would activate at 11.30 p.m. The air conditioners in the office and dining hall. They had already set the timers for these. Thanks to the irons maxing out the power usage, the breaker was tripped when the air conditioners kicked on. Since the windows in the old building were covered, the blackout plunged the dining hall into total darkness. But when that happened, Byakuya took out a specific item that he brought in his case. That item was the night vision goggle. Byakuya was so concerned about a murder occurring that he brought a variety of security equipment with him. When he put on his night vision goggles, Byakuya witnessed a certain someone making a suspicious move. He saw Nagito guiding himself with the desk lamp's power cord so he could get under the table. That's right. Everything up to that point was all part of Nagito's plan. The murder warning to Byakuya, the source of the blackout, it was all Nagito. While the blackout was happening, someone else, the real killer, began making their move in the kitchen. The killer probably already knew about Nagito's plan, so they knew a blackout was coming. That's why the killer prepared all the items they would need to commit their crime in the dark beforehand. They needed a light source, which was provided by the portable stove in the kitchen. They needed a weapon, too. This had also been hidden in the kitchen beforehand. The long iron skewer used in the churrasco dish. The killer hid that inside that meat with the bone in it. With the weapon and portable stove in hand, the killer stepped out into the hall. First, they closed the fire door in the hallway so their light source wouldn't peek toward the dining hall. Then, guided by the light, the killer headed toward the storage room and grabbed a specific item. That's right, a tablecloth to block the blood splatter. With this, the killer finished their well, preparations like and room. snuck under the floorboards through the secret passage. They probably turned off the portable cooking stove at that point, or left it near the entrance of the door. The floor in the dining hall is full of gaps, so there's no way they could have safely held a light source. But th 
thanks to the glowing mark they painted earlier, the killer was able to get beneath the table. Under the table, Byaki found the knife that had been hidden there. If only he had retreated, he probably wouldn't have gotten killed. He had to retrieve that knife. And at that moment, the killer lurking beneath the floorboard stabbed straight up with the iron skewer. The killer had been waiting in the dark for the moment when the glowing paint began to move. After they murdered Byakuya, the killer purposefully shouted from beneath the floorboards to make it seem like they were still in the dining hall. Afterward, they came out from underneath the floorboards and rushed back to the kitchen. And then, after hiding the murder weapon in the kitchen, they rejoined the group as if nothing had happened. There's only one person who would have been able to commit this crime. Especially if that person is someone who'd think of an unexpected way to hide a weapon inside food. Isn't that right, Teru Teru Hanamura? That's what happened. How about it? Did I get anything wrong? Nah, G. Th this is a mistake. A mistake, I tell you, I would never, I would never kill anyone. Would never. <laughs> it seems this is the end. Get him up out of here, bro. Get him up out of here. Get him up out of here. Get him up out of here. I'm sick of this. Let me get, get me, get me, get me done with this class trial, bro. I'm sick of him. I'm sick of this. Get him up out of here. <laughs> it looks like your argument has come to a close. Control of my wild side for a second. Was that a side effect of the meat I just ate? Well, putting that aside, let's move along to the nerve wracking voting time. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Oh, just a reminder make triple sure you vote for someone. If you don't vote, I'm gonna eat you off just like that meat from earlier. <laughs> Why did this happen? Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> Such heart pounding excitement! That's right! This time the black and responsible for killing to Gakuya Togami is Teru Teru Hanamura. No, 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 no. You are you serious? Out of all these people, are you saying a ponce like him is the one who killed Byakuya? But why? Why did you kill him? Got it wrong. It was a mistake, I'll tell you, it was a mistake. I was only trying to save you guys. Hey. I was only trying to stop Nayuto from murdering one of you. Huh? Trying to stop, what do you mean? I, I spent all morning in the old building preparing the dishes for the party and then I heard a weird laughter near the dining hall when I peeked over there. I saw him. I saw Nagito in the middle of cleaning duty, putting the knife under the table. 
I had a bad feeling about it, so I continued to watch what he was doing. And I saw him place the irons he brought in the storage room and mess with the air conditioner timers. Plus, he was grinning, just grinning by himself the whole time. So I questioned him. When that happened, he... You caught me? Oh, I've been caught. What? Been caught? Hey! What are you doing? What are you scheming? <laughs> I'm planning to kill someone, of course. <laughs> Tara, Tara, just to let you know, it's pointless, it's pointless of you to stop me. If you stop me now, it doesn't matter. I will never give up. Whether it's tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, or the days beyond that, I'll definitely start the killing. Impossible! Oh, no matter how much you want to leave this island, that's just... I see, so that's what you think. Well... But that's not it at all. This isn't about my survival. I just want the killing to start. What? What are you saying? <laughs> I love everyone here. That's why I want to be of good use to them. I love all the ultimates, and I admire them for being symbols of hope. Amazing! That's right. In the name of hope, I love everyone's talent from the bottom of my heart. That's why. <laughs> I don't want them to lose against something like killing. I want them to prove to me that hope will never lose, no matter how daunting the despair they face may seem. <laughs> I want everyone to prove to me that hope will never lose to despair. No, 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 no. What are you saying? I don't understand at all. See? See, isn't it typical of you to face a strong enemy? You will become even stronger yourself? Which means the stronger the despair you face, the stronger everyone's hope will become, right? I... I want to see that brightness, and in order to see it, I'm going to become everyone's stepping stone. I want to make your hopes shine, it's as simple as that. That's right, I yearn for a powerful hope that can overcome any kind of despair. Are you kidding? Don't tell me you're actually serious. So you don't understand, that's fine. I don't really mind. I'm just an obsessed fanboy, so it's all right that this love of mine is unrequited. I suppose I could be called the ultimate, ultimate fanatic. No way, no way. You, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> really? Do you really think so? Do you really think there's something wrong with me? But isn't this what love is? Nagito, what's the meaning of this? Explain to me. I don't understand anything about this story at all. See? You see, if you have a favorite boxer, don't you want him to fight against a strong opponent and win? Don't fuck with me! You better not compare us to that. What? Huh, am I wrong? It's a given that trials are necessary to become strong. And the harsher the trial, the stronger you become, no? <laughs> For hu mere humans, killing is a simple tragedy, but... For worthy humans, a trial such as this can elevate their status to an even higher level. Amazing! It's amazing to me that someone as untalented as myself could become that trial. There's no point in someone like me surviving. It's far more significant for me to die as everyone's trial. Great. There's no greater honor than becoming the foundation. The foundation so that your values may ascend to brave new heights. What's going on? Stop it. You're seriously starting to piss me off. What's going on? I don't understand at all. Oh, I don't understand at all. Are you saying you basically wanted to commit murder for fun? It's not the same as killing someone for fun, but I guess it looked the same in your eyes. I... I have no intention of surviving and leaving you all to die. Is that why you didn't mind when Terra Terra discovered your plan? That's wrong. Or perhaps that was intentional too. So... Nagito wanted to involve us in the killings. Plus, It'd be better for him if the mystery was more complex. Is that why you blatantly revealed your plan to Terra Terra? You expected to pique Terra Terra's curiosity? And you looked forward to the mystery becoming more complex? Well, you're basically right. It's true I was looking forward to that. That's why I took the time to tell him about the secret passage I found while I was cleaning. What? That was your doing as well. You're right. I just casually mentioned it. Oh, it's dangerous if you fall, so don't get too close to it. Hey, 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 hey. This dude, he's seriously crazy. He's insane. That's right. I tried to stop him, you know? However, 
But why? Why did you kill Byakuya instead? I don't know. Because Nagito was the one who was supposed to take the knife. That's why I aimed and thrust at the iron skewer there. But why is Byakuya the one who died? It was supposed to be Nagito, not him! Byakuya probably tried to stop Nagito from grabbing the knife. And then in place of Nagito... Nope. No, I don't think that's it. Huh? Perhaps... Byakuya was probably trying to protect Nagito. What? What did you say? See? Because Byakuya said so, didn't he? Don't worry. As long as I'm the leader, I won't let, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much I promise. <laughs> Could it be in order to keep that promise? As long as he was wearing the night vision goggles, I'm sure he saw someone moving under the floorboards. And that someone was aiming for Nagito. Why? So, Yakuya gave his life to protect Nagito? Even though he was trying to take the knife? <laughs> I see. Byakuya is amazing. To keep his promise to everyone, he actually threw his own life away. And yet... Such despair. I never expected an ending like this. Such despair. What? <laughs> but we shouldn't let him die in vain. I'm sure everyone will become even stronger by overcoming this despair. No way. Could it be you knew Byakuya would protect you so you set him up to fail? Someone like me? Of course not. I'm not that good at calculating. I just took some precautionary measures. The results of that were going to be my fun for later. <laughs> just kidding. How unexpected. But I never expected it would turn out like this. I never thought I'd be the one to survive. But since it was my life that had been saved, I didn't want to just waste it. So that's why I decided to help Teru Teru. Why? Why? <laughs> well, because Teru Teru decided to commit his crime because he had a strong hope, right? Which means his actions were motivated by hope. If he was willing to go that far, I thought he might truly be the person whose existence I was waiting for. <laughs> I thought he might be the hope that could defeat any type of despair. In order for me to confirm it, I decided to help Teru Teru. What do you mean confirm? Just stop already! Well... Plus, I really couldn't help myself when I also empathized with Teru Teru. After all, he wanted to kill me but ended up killing Byakuya instead, you know? If I left him in that confused state, this trial might have been ruined, right? Isn't that right? But in order for our hope to grow, this trial was absolutely necessary. That's why I decided to help him. I told him I don't care if I die, so you should just focus on escaping this island. Right? Those were my exact words to him before the investigation. Isn't that right, Terra Terra? Man. In the end, my hope just wasn't enough, and this turned out to be a bad ending for Terra Terra. <laughs> but you should be proud of yourselves. You'll not die in vain. Great. You'll become a splendid sacrifice for everyone else so their hopes can grow even more powerful. Impossible. Shut up. Shut up. Seriously, stop it already. I'm going to go crazy just listening to you. Hey, hey. Hey, is it really okay for us to leave this crazy bastard alone like this? Huh? Isn't it better if we just kill him off? Yeah. Ah, kill, he said. High school students are so violent these days. But the person who's going to get killed now is not Nagito. It's Terra Terra. What's the matter? You didn't forget, right? Because I told you already at the beginning, right? If the blackened killer loses, a fun punishment awaits them. Wait. Uh, uh, hold on. No, 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 no. That no, was, no, no. how should I put it? An accident. Act of self-defense? Not intentional? Anyway, I feel it's possible it's not my fault. It doesn't matter if it's an accident, self-defense, or intentional. A murder is still a murder. If you kill someone, that's murder. Hey! But isn't there like sympathy judgments? Extenuating circumstances? Or maybe even probation? Impossible! I don't accept any of those claims. That's... Hey! Hey, save me, guys. I was only trying to stop Nagito, so... Why you? Be honest. After learning about Nagito's plan, you saw an opportunity, right? You probably thought nobody would find out if you have to find out if you killed him after messing up his plan, right? That's what you thought, right? Wrong. You're wrong, guy. Hmm. There's no way a person who has no malice would kill someone like that. Hmm. 
In truth, you were just desperate to kill Nagito and willing to sacrifice everybody else to survive, right? Just be honest already. At least in the end. No, 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 no. That is. Teru, Teru. Why? If only you didn't try to kill Nagito, Byakuya would still be alive. Answer me. Why did you try to commit murder? Answer me, Teru, Teru. I, I just, I just wanted to go home. I needed to go back home no matter what. Because she's waiting for me. Mama's waiting for me at home. She's waiting all by herself for the day I graduate Hope's Peak Academy and come home. Okay, I'm going now. When I come back, I think we should talk again about opening an Aoyama and Azabu location. Oh my, you're still talking about that? Oh, I'm serious. The Academy guarantees success for its graduates, right? So, I know it's gonna be difficult by yourself, but wait for me until then, okay? Yes, you're right. Then I'll just have to do my best to keep the Hanamura Diner from going out of business until then. Mom, you don't have to work so hard. What if you collapse again while I'm gone? I'll be fine. Moms are strong. I won't lose to some illness. <laughs> I know that already. I know that already. I promised. I promised her I'd become a full-fledged cook and save the Hanamura Diner. Mama is waiting for me to keep that promise. Even though she's sick and alone, she's still waiting for me. That's why I need to go home! Teru Teru. <laughs> but if we were told our memories were stolen, and that several years have passed since our first day... Hey! Then what happened to the Hanamura Diner? What happened to my mom, who's still waiting for me? So you did believe what Monokuma said. Damn it! You were saying all along, it's okay, I'll never believe something like this. So why? Wrong! I still don't believe it! There's no way I can believe it, it has to be a lie. That's why I wanted to go home! I wanted to go home and confirm it. I wanted to make sure it was all just a lie. I wanted to make sure that I have, still have a place to call home. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. It's not that Terra Terra didn't believe it. He believed it more than anybody else here. That's why he kept denying it because he believed it. He needed to deny it. Dang it. If only I knew how he felt, something like this would have never happened. I, I wanted to confirm by any means necessary. I had to do something. That's when I heard Nagito's plan. I found out he was going to kill someone if I left him alone. That's why... That's why... Fine, fine. So, you wanted the first kill. I'm sorry. It doesn't mean I wanted to sacrifice any of you. But it was the only thing I could do. And I ended up killing Byakuya instead of Nagito. Ah, I see. I think I'm the one who went crazy. Terra Terra. <laughs> I see, I see. Interesting, but... As far as motives to kill are concerned, wanting to see your mom is boring. What, bro? So, it seems there's no point in basking in the afterglow, so let's hurry up and begin the punishment. You can't. Jeez, get out of my way. Well, now. There, now that annoying little sister has been dealt with, let's get back to business. Wait. Oh, hold on a second. I'm not asking for forgiveness anymore, but at least... Now then, I prepared a very special punishment! For Teru Teru Hanamura, the ultimate cook! Hey! Call me chef! No, wait, that's not what I... P please! Please, please at least tell me. What happened in a Hanamura diet to Mama? Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! P lies! I won't believe this! I won't believe it! Mama!
The adrenaline was rushing through me. Damn it. Are you freaking serious? How cruel. Why, why did you do something so cruel? Didn't you learn when you were in elementary school? If you badmouth someone, the teacher writes it in a note and makes whoever you badmouth read it to you in front of the class. When that happens, only then do you think about how bad it feels, how it feels to be badmouthed. The same applies to murder. What are you saying? You're the one who drove him to do it. Just too cruel. Nice. Well, it can't be helped. Rules are rules, and this is the killing rule after all. What rule? You're the one who's breaking the rules. Mm -hmm. Huh? I can't just let that slide. What do you mean? When you mentioned the motive, didn't you also promise something? However, there's a catch. Don't tell me the catch is... Figured it out yet? That's right, you guys have to kill each other. That's my bargaining point. You guys want to know, right? You want your school memories returned to you, right? And you better start killing a penny for your thoughts, a murder for your memories. Why? Why didn't you tell Terra Terra about his mom or his diner? He had a right to know. Yeah, us too. We all have a right to know. Bastard. And hurry up and tell us. What did you mean earlier when you mentioned our school memories? <laughs> oh, I did promise to return your memories after the killing began. <laughs> uh, you're gonna do it? But telling them is kind of... <laughs> but I never told you guys I'd tell you right away. What? Not fair. Of course! Of course, I'll keep my promise and return your memories someday. But it's still not clear when that someday will actually be. <laughs> I must excuse myself as well. There's something I need to do. Huh? What the heck? S so cruel! This is not fair. They both ran away. Then. M Monokuma had us wrapped around his finger after all. Stupid! Terra Terra, you stupid! Such despair! An ending like this. An ending like this is just full of despair. A seriously tragic despair. But still, at times like this, <laughs> as the symbols of hope, you guys need to keep doing your best. You. Why are you smiling? Crap! How can you smile in a situation like this, you creep? Nope. Hold on, I'm sad too, you know? Didn't I tell you? From the bottom of my heart, I truly love you all. You ultimate to inspire hope in your splendid talents. There's no way I can be happy when we've lost such a talented individual. Don't fuck with me! <laughs> Please, kill me anytime. What? If you hate me, I don't mind you killing me. I've already prepared myself to become your stepping stone. So if absolute hope can be born from that, then my life is nothing special. How messed up are you? Hey. However, if you're gonna kill me, make sure you discuss it with me beforehand, okay? You see, if you do that, then I can cooperate with the killer. Are you seriously intending to help the killer? <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal. If your student is the whole speak academy, you're the symbols of hope who possess the chosen talents. Great. Then it shouldn't matter to you guys at all if I cooperate with the killer, right? 
declaring so confidently that you'll side with the killer. Hey. Maybe this was his plan all along. Since he's willing to work with the killer, he wants us to think it's better for us not to kill him. Well, I don't mind what you think of me. In actuality, thanks to Byaki, I'm starting to feel a small desire to live. This is exciting! Mostly, I just want to watch everyone destroy all the despair that comes for you, one after the other. <laughs> just kidding. Piss me off. Hey, can I punch you? I just won't be satisfied until I punch you. Fine. Let's stop this already. It's just going to be a waste of time if we keep dealing with him. What? Even Hajime hates me now? How unfortunate. That stings. I felt you and I were quite similar. What is that? Isn't that right? You hold a special feeling towards Host Peak Academy just like me. Hey, don't put me in the same category as you, bum. Hey. But can you say you're not? Monokuma said it himself. We don't know anything about each other's true nature. <laughs> no. If it's true that our school memories were stolen, it's the same as not knowing anything about our true selves, too. Especially for you, right? Someone who can't even remember what his talent is? Akane, please feel free to punch him. Like, punch him right in the throat. I want bro to suffer. <laughs> we'll do! Wait! Hold on! Please stop! Nothing will come from fighting like this. There... There is something else we must do. Huh? Something else. We must not argue with each other in a place like this. There is something more important we must do. Let me ask. Do our best. You fiend. Hmm? Well? We must first leave here and get some rest. And then we shall all work together to do our best. Do our best so that we never have to come back here again. Perhaps. That is what I believe we must do now. I am sorry. I'm sorry. If only I was a better motivational speaker. No, that really touched my heart. You're totally right. What we need to do right now is do our best. If we do our best, it's definitely going to pay off, right? Yes. Yes, that's right. Like... But what do we have to work hard at? <laughs> I do not know, but we must do our best. Jeez. I don't get you at all. Are you some kind of moron? Well... It's fine if you don't know. What matters is that you hold on to the feeling that we have to do our best. Right. So let's do our best. Let's make sure a killing like this never happens again. But... It's scary, but doing our best is the only option. There's no way I'm doing what Nagito said. I'm gonna do it! Alright, I don't know what you're talking about, but let's do our best for now. Fine. Very well. Even if we are not able to change the future, I guess we should at least be able to change tomorrow. <laughs> Dang fiend. I won't give up to the very end. I won't die in vain. I'll give my entire existence, my entire power, my entire body and soul and fight to the very end. Yeah, you're right. Let's definitely work together and leave this island. Do our best. We kept using that phrase over and over again. Even though we knew they were just cheap, meaningless words. And girls, we still said it. And we continue to say it over and over again without stopping. Thus, the curtain had fallen upon the class trial where Byakuya and Teru Teru were sacrificed. Afterwards, we left the trial grounds and returned to the mainland of Jabberwock Island. For the time being, we decided to go back to our cottages. After experiencing something like that, there was no way I could fall asleep. Alright. Peace out, guys. That's the end of this episode man I'll say so far this game is when it comes to the story building and like the characters I, I'm not gonna say the characters are better so far but I'm gonna say the backstories of the characters and like you know their motives and like why we should feel bad for them and stuff so far it's actually like the actual character depth is getting a it is a lot better than the last game well Going by the main story, of course. I didn't get to do all the social links, so I don't know. But going to progress through the main story, the stuff that's revealed without doing anything extra, it's it's you know it's it's pretty good. It's pretty cool. But peace out, love you guys. Um, if you enjoyed, like and subscribe. Tap in for the next video.